smiles all across the nation there. Well, today, Julie Andrews is in Southampton to launch a new luxury cruise liner in traditional style. I name this ship Crystal Serenity, and may God bless all who sail on her. And with the champagne still wet on the ship's bows, we go live now to the first-class passenger deck and one of the penthouse suites where Julie's waiting for us. Hello, Julie. Hi. Hello, Richard. Hello, Judy. It's lovely to see you. Nice uh, talking to you. Do you Thank know, you. Do you. Did you know that you've been voted amongst the greatest hundred Britons of all time quite recently? Oh, really? Did well, you know? I'm very flattered. Yeah. No. No, you didn't know. Well, but there's a BBC poll, and so many people obviously <laughs> associate you with their childhood. It's great. Tell us a little bit that about is. this. Tell us a little bit about this ship. It looks very, very posh. It is. It's a beauty. Uh, she's called Crystal Serenity, and she's glorious inside and out, and uh, is the newest of, uh, of a fleet of luxury liners. I'm very proud to be her godmother. H have you ever launched a ship before? Never. Just another first, Richard. <laughs> you see, I, I, what, I keep remembering that wonderful clip. I think it was of the Queen Mother, I'm not sure. It, back in the 30s, failing time and time again to break the champagne bottle against the side of the ship. Were you worried about that? <laughs> yes, I was. I think they've perfected it since then, but I thought, what if it doesn't break? It's supposed to be bad luck. This one really exploded, and I was very grateful. Well, congratulations. Yeah, Julie, you've, you've, we've not seen. Thank you very much for uh, for talking to us because you, you you don't do many interviews, and we've not seen very much of you lately, apart from the Princess Diaries, of course. Um, what have you right. been doing? Uh, quite a lot, Judy. Um, mm -hmm. I did uh, two back-to-back -back movies of a wonderful children's book called Eloise, mm -hmm. uh, one of which has aired in the United States, and another one that's coming out this Christmas. And uh, I have an awful lot of work on my plate at the moment, which I'm thrilled about. I'm going to be uh, starting to direct a musical next week in uh, New York, mm -hmm. in Long Island. And um, it's a musical, The Boyfriend, mm -hmm. which is the play that brought me to New York many, many years mm -hmm. ago. And uh, so I'm going to actually be directing this this time. Now, now what about your singing voice? Um, we must talk about that, because obviously we, we just heard those liquid tones, you know, with, with which you were blessed for, for so many years. Um, and then you had, some yes. you had to have some surgery on, on your, your voice box. Now, what's the situation now? Is, is your voice been damaged? Will you be able to sing again? I'm not sure. I'm still optimistic, Richard. Um, mm. I can do a very good basso profundo, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I, haven't been, I haven't been singing lately. But happily... I have to say, I've been busier than I've ever been. Yeah. Um, I've got another movie coming up in the fall and uh, a wonderful publishing imprint under my name that's coming out in the fall mm. for children. And uh, I wonder, honestly, if I would have embraced any of these things if those problems hadn't arisen uh, with my voice. So life is very odd indeed. Oh, I know what you mean. As one door shuts, another one opens. Ab absolutely. And it's in Something interesting, like that. Go going back to that, that whole Mary Poppins extraordinary time for you, that connection with children has stayed a lot. I mean, you write a lot of children's books, don't you? Yes, I do. And that's this, this as I said, this publishing imprint is, is now coming out under, under the title, The Julie Andrews Collection, mm -hmm. for HarperCollins. And... Uh, we're debuting with four books this fall. Now you talk about. Um, I, I, sorry, the old satellite delay causes these slight no, no, glitches. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. I was just going to yeah. say that um, you, you know you talk about the work in America that's uh, that's upcoming. But you is it is it correct you still live in Switzerland? Uh, we have a home. I don't actually live there permanently. Mm. We have a home there, which is our secret hideaway where the <laughs> whole family goes just to put their feet up and and and, and be family. What are the uh, but mostly I live in the States. Right. Yeah. What are the Swiss like? <laughs> well, uh, our part of Switzerland's absolutely heavenly, and they couldn't be more adorable or warm or friendly or funny, and uh, um, it's a very beloved spot for me. We heard that, um, I can't pronounce it, is it Gestad? Hmm. It's like if you said Stard and put a little quiet C or K in front of it. Stard. Stard. Right, okay. Yep. We heard that you actually paid and for And of course, their... the next village to that is Steig, and there are a few others, so you have to really get oh, used right, to it. Right. We heard that you actually pay for the, uh, the town's uh, Christmas lights every year. Uh, uh, many years ago, uh, they had no Christmas lights, and it's such a magical little place, and... Um, I said to my husband, you know what, they really need is some wonderful 
sort of fairy lights here. And he said, well, go on. If you really want to do that, do it. And I said, could I? And I asked this sort of unofficial mayor if I could. Hmm. And a year later, they were up, and they've been up ever since, and I'm thrilled. Your, your husband, of course, is the, uh, the legendary director, Blake Edwards, who, of course, did all the Return of the right. Pink Panther movies. Now, obviously, Peter Sellers is, is, is no longer with us. Would you have a word in your husband's ear um, when you next see him? Is there any possibility of a return of the Return of the Pink Panther? Is there any plans at all to bring the Pink Panther movies back? <laughs> Uh, n not a movie, although somebody's making a movie of it, but I don't think Blake is. But he is thinking of doing a stage musical of it, a very wacky, wild <laughs> stage musical of Cuso and the Pink Panther. Yeah. You were, um, so you see, you're in the right vein. Absolutely. Right. You were, you, you were working with um, our own Charlotte Church, weren't you, last year sometime? Yes, I was. Yep. yep. She's a sweet little thing, isn't a, she? A, she is. She's lovely. She has a lovely voice. She's a lovely girl. And uh, we did a Christmas tour together for about ooh, three and a half weeks, I think, uh, just before Christmas. And we toured oh, many, many cities in America mm. and did a really nice concert together. And what did you think of her voice? I loved it. Mm. Uh, I think she's a very special young lady altogether. And um, I know the press at that time were hounding her. And I yes. thought rather unfairly, too, because a lot of it wasn't true.